Another way to say it is tracking COVID-19 is actually through your business. <laughs> Researchers are using wastewater to track community spread of the virus. CBS 17 reporter Judith Rattana is here now to explain what that means. So the state puts out new wastewater monitoring data every week. The new data came out today, and this map is showing us that we are seeing increased COVID showing up in Wilson and in South Durham. And we're taking a look here at the samples collected in Raleigh. That's showing us that more COVID has turned up in the water in the last month than in the last year. When you flush, your stuff ends up here at your local water treatment plant. It's not pretty to look at, but your stool can be a valuable tool. Whenever you do your daily business, if you are shedding the virus, it will go into the wastewater system. Dr. Rachel Noble is a professor of marine sciences at UNC. She tracks coronavirus that makes it into wastewater treatment facilities across the state. You can really quickly see that if someone doesn't have symptoms, if they haven't been tested, they're still being captured by wastewater. Water analysis. Her lab collects samples from two dozen treatment plants. They are then taken to her lab for analysis. Wastewater collection is almost a crystal ball, predicting trends up to six days early. So we're not focusing on an individual or even just a family. We're getting an overall pulse of what's going on in the community. This allows the state to plan where they need to increase testing or where to expect increased hospitalizations. What it cannot tell you is the number of people infected in a given community or how sick they are. If people wake up and they might live in one town, but they actually leave that town and they go to the next town to go to work and then they come back. Ultimately, Noble hopes this can be used for other illnesses when the pandemic is behind us. A statewide wastewater surveillance system is in the works. I feel like we've started a really good foundation for uh, continuing this surveillance work well into the future. Now, it's important to underscore that you cannot catch COVID-19 from treated or untreated water to see how much virus is showing up in your treatment plant's water. I have an interactive map for you to use online in my story at CBS17.com. Judith Ratana, CBS 17 News. Definitely getting creative there to track it, Judith. Thank you.